Hi, Jennifer Holmes here, President of MIS Solutions. And the question for today is, what is encrypted email? Liam? So encrypted email is basically the ability to encrypt or to make secure email that goes between you and your customers or your vendors. Most people believe that email by its nature is already secure, and in fact it's not. It's just emailed in plain text, so if you're putting things like credit card numbers or social security numbers, or even the attachments that you would have, if you're putting those in an email, then those things are by its nature insecure. Great. When should you use encrypted email? Right, so that's a question we actually get a lot. And the answer to that is, if you are in a situation where you're needing to email things that you would consider either business confidential, so they might be strategic business plans or things that you wouldn't want to have fallen to the hands of other people, or if you're trying to re, um, meet regulatory compliance issues, things like PCI compliance or HIPAA compliance, then those are times that you would want to use encrypted email. So those might be things like social security numbers, credit cards, tax returns, insurance forms, things like that. Okay, so encrypted email certainly makes sense for a lot of industries. So the question then becomes, how, how easy is it to use? Because when you're adapting new technology, if it's not easy to use and it doesn't serve a specific business function, your users on your network are just not going to do it. So how easy is encrypted email to use and get set up? Right, so that's actually a good point. Um, various vendors have their own products. Some of them are web-based. Some of them are separate programs. And many of them are add-ins that you actually put into Outlook. Um, the one that we like the best actually changes the way that Outlook works. So as you're used to today where you create an email and when you're ready to send the email you hit the send button. Um, most encrypted email applications that go into Outlook add a second button right on that screen where the one says send and the other one says send secure. So when you need to send an email that's secure Instead of hitting the send button, you simply hit the send secure button. Well, that, that begs the question of if I'm sending secure email to my customers and they don't have secure email, how does that work exactly? Right, so that's a good point, right? So if you sent me something and you asked for information back and that information was a tax return or something confidential, how would that person whose email address, of course, you don't have any control over, how do you provide them a conduit to give you secure access or secure email back? Well, the answer is actually pretty simple. Um, with some email encryption products, the way that it works is <clears throat> you would send me an email first, and when I got that email, what I would get in the body of the email is a link. And that link basically says, um, somebody has sent me a secure email. To read that email, please click here. I would then click the link. It opens up a web browser. I put in a username and password, and directly in that site allows me to actually send an email back to you, add attachments, and put secure information in it. And in that way, your customers can send you secure information as well as you being able to send it to them. Do you see that as being a hindrance for your customer? I mean, we know it's important to send encrypted email, and we know there's this little extra step that they have to go to. How do, you, how do you deal with that with your customer to let them know that this is kind of the way they need to do it to protect themselves? I think it's important um, at multiple levels. Number one is I think you need to make sure that you have some standard operating procedures around you know, what is considered confidential information so that your employees understand what the expectation is. I think it's important that those procedures make their way into your handbook so that you can make sure that you're training on it. And I think it's also important that you provide secure access to those people who need it for email so that you can show your due diligence in making sure that people are doing that. It is an extra step that you have to do, but at the same time, it, it does keep your information secure. And it's much easier to send secure email and make sure that you're compliant than it is to go through an audit or a breach. And I, I would absolutely agree. So I would say that if you have questions about should you encrypt email, how easy is it, does it make sense, um, you know, definitely give you can give us a call or talk to your provider about that. Um, I think security is one of those areas as we're talking to 
um, new new you know clients new to MIS that is one area that is probably underserved so if you have questions about security you know, talk to your provider obviously we're a resource we would love to help as well but security you, you can't be too paranoid about it so that should be something that's part of your your annual technology plan if it's not already if you have further questions about email security or technology plans um, don't stress call MIS